Welcome back everybody, welcome to the Teach Me channel. Well, on today's video, we're going to talk about why isn't my Blink camera recording? We're gonna talk about that and so much more. Stick around. It can be extremely frustrating uh, wanting to view footage from your camera system and it's not there simply because it did not record. We're gonna talk about a number of reasons why that may be possible and how to, uh, how to fix this. There are many possible fixes. The first thing we want to discuss is that, is your camera system, is your Blink operating on a subscription plan or a non-subscription plan? Now, subscription plans pretty much guarantee that it's going to record uh, when it detects movement. Non-subscription plans, there is no really guarantee for that. And you can see that there on what's included and what is not included. If you have a non-subscription plan, and if your camera system has been recording smoothly when it detects motion, great, that's a good thing. Now, here's what people have been saying. If they have had wonderful success in their camera's recording on a non-subscription plan, but all of a sudden it stopped recording. This is, could be one reason why. Maybe if you have placed one camera, just one camera on a subscription plan and the rest were not, sooner or later, those other ones will cease to record. It's gonna go back or it's going to finally sync with the contract settings or with the subscription settings, right? Because the Blink subscription setting says that a non-subscriber is not supposed to have a camera system that is recording with movement. Now, I know that's a terrible thing, but those of you that are subscribing, uh, just stick around with me, I'll get to you in just a few moments. Again, for us non-subscribers, I'm not a subscriber either, but for us non-subscribers, if you have a camera system that has been recording and then it stopped recording, this could be one reason why you have been caught up in the matrix and it has finally caught up, all right? Now, there are many reasons why you may not be subscribed and, and there could be still some reasons why you don't wanna subscribe. What I like to do in my, with my system, because I have other cameras as well, I like to place those wireless cameras on different areas on the property. It's wireless, and as long as it's picking up a wireless system or Wi-Fi, uh, you can put it just about anywhere. One place you can put it is in a tree, watching over the property, gives you excellent view. I call it looking through a window. On the trees, you can put it there on the mailbox, wherever that gives you a good round picture of your property. Because by and large, when many people put their security cameras up, they are attached to the house, which gives you a view from the house outward. But when you start putting those cameras on a tree or on a pole outside the house, it allows you to see around the perimeter, which is pretty cool. I like that too. All right, so all things being equal, let's say you're under the subscription plan and, and all of a sudden, one or two cameras aren't working. How do we fix this? Well, let's look in the app to discover uh, some hidden gems about that. Because a number of people have commented, I can't get my cameras to record, they're not recording, and there are actually some simple solutions to it. So let's go ahead and open up our Blink app and get it. So the first thing you wanna notice, you wanna ask yourself or look in the app and see, is your system yeah. armed? If your system is disarmed, it's not going to record. That's a guarantee for you. Now, then let's check each individual camera. Do you see that blue running man? If you see him blue, then that means the motion detector for that camera is operational. There's another way to check that. We're gonna do that in a second. But if the little running man is grayed out, that means that motion detection for that camera is turned off. And if motion detection is turned off, there's no way in the world it's going to record when it detects motion, when it can't detect motion, right? All right. So let's go ahead and check into that. Now, let's go into the settings. So the first thing we said, make sure your system is armed and make sure you see the blue running man. All right, let's go into the settings. 
And if you would go down, you should see under motion detection, you should see where it is enabled. The little circle should be blue pushed to the right, blue meaning that it is enabled, motion is enabled. Now, you also want to make sure that your zones are covered. Now, in previous videos, we talked about zones before, how you can zone out a particular area that you don't want recorded or that if there's a lot of activity going on, going on in a certain section of it, maybe there's a busy, maybe your, your, your camera's facing toward a busy area. Well, you want to zone out those areas because you don't want to get all of those uh, false notifications, right? So you want to gray those areas out and you only want those areas uh, where you want detection actually covered. So you want to make sure that your zone areas where you want detection are definitely open. If not, then you can reset your activity zones to make sure that uh, it's, it's there. So again, if you're expecting detection in a zoned area that is cut off, it's not going to happen. It's not going to record. All right, now let's go down. Let's make sure we have the proper sensitivity. If your sensitivity is too low, it's not going to pick up motion. It won't record. So you may want to bring that sensitivity up a bit. And let's look here. Yes, make sure motion recording is enabled. That's another thing. It's not going to record if motion uh, recording is not enabled. So let's make sure we do that. Now, here's another uh, great feature I like as well. You can actually, if we scroll further down, yes, look at this, the status LED, status LED. Now, the status LED, uh, you see whether it's off or recording. Now, many people want to turn that feature off. Now, I, I would recommend that you turn that feature off because you, if you use this for a security system, you definitely don't want, if someone's coming up and trying to do something and your camera is located in an area, in an inconspicuous area, and you don't want it detected, when they're coming up to do something, you don't want them to see a blinking, blinking light. Or maybe you do, depending on your situation. Maybe you want your camera to be undetected. If that's true, then turn that LED recording light off. So therefore, when the camera is recording, no one knows, it's just like still a black box there. So I'll leave that up to you, depending on your use. Maybe you do want it to blink, let them know, hey, you're being recorded, get away from here. Or maybe you want there to be a silent attack, I don't know. Letting them, uh, they, they have no idea that they're being recorded. It, it's up to you how you want to do that. So uh, now all this goes beyond, uh, beyond, goes beyond saying that you can actually see if you can actually see an image on your app, if you can see the live footage, you should be able to record. If you can't see live footage on the camera, then there are some other issues at play. Maybe the batteries are dead, or maybe you can no longer receive Wi-Fi. So we need to check into those things. Anyway, well, these were some, uh, hopefully some simple fixes to getting your camera back online. Oh yes, there's one more thing as well. If your camera is located too far from the movement, it's not going to detect it. Blink has a certain range that it will begin to record. So if your camera is far out and the subject walking is too far, I believe it's 20 to 30 feet away from the camera. If they're beyond that point, it's not going to record. You may need to move the camera closer to the action. All right, I hope that this video has helped you. And uh, we'll be back in a little while to talk about more features uh, that Blink offers. Now, of course, every situation is different. You want to make sure that you get the proper security camera for your needs. If you have a high security need and you need to record 24 seven, you don't want Blink. But if you have a general need and it's okay to have around, then Blink will also will be a good fit for you. All right, we'll be back next time and I'll tell you more interesting tidbits about the Blink camera. So make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. All right, bye-bye.